Okay guys, I have a very quick question for you. How do you really know that your liver is dying? What do you feel about a dying liver? But today in this video, we are going to go over the 12 shocking signs of early and advanced liver problem. If you are experiencing any of these signs, chances are your liver is dying, your liver is faulty. Let's get into some of these signs. Number one is muscle atrophy. Now there are a couple of reasons why people have muscle atrophy, also known as muscle wasting like when they are aging but it could be a sign of an underlying liver problem and in fact about 40 to 70 percent of people with liver cirrhosis do have muscle atrophy all right so if you are having muscle atrophy that could be a sign of liver problem number two is hepatic encephalopathy what does that mean well it refers to a change that happens in your body that affects how your brain functions like your ability to think like your personality memory loss confusion you feel disoriented now this is mostly due to the inability of the liver to filter toxins from the blood causing the build up of these toxins in your body most especially ammonia all right now when you have too much of ammonia in your body due to liver problem this ammonia can cross through the blood brain barrier affecting your central nervous system and causing all sorts of neurological issues, all right? Now, number three is jaundice, the sclera of your eye, your skin start turning yellow. This is one of the most common symptoms of liver problem. Now, the reason why you may have this jaundice is because you have too much bilirubin in your body. Now, bilirubin is a compound that is produced from the metabolism of proteins. So if you have liver problem, your liver may not be able to eliminate this bilirubin that is going to cause you to have jaundice. All right, number four is abdominal pain. This pain can be felt at the right part of your abdomen, the upper right hand side. Sometimes you can feel it in your back or your right shoulder. Okay, that's a sign of liver problem. Number five is gynecomastia or breast enlargement in May. Now again, the liver is the site for the detoxification process. So if you have problem with your liver, that is going to cause estrogen to build up in your body causing you to have enlarged breasts as a man, all right? Now, number six is testicular shrinkage. That is due to hormonal imbalance, which can be caused by liver problem, all right? Now, number seven is ascites, which is the accumulation of fluid in your abdomen. Now, you may actually have this due to the inability of the liver to secrete this protein, albumin. Now, you're most likely going to have ascites, the accumulation of fluid in your abdomen when a significant damage is done to your liver when your liver has lost most of its vital function like its ability to synthesize albumin all right number eight is inchy your body is inchy you you always have this sensation of always wanting to scratch your skin that's a sign of liver problem number nine is frequent gassy sensation this is due to the inability of your liver to secrete digestive juices to help your body break down food. Now, this is one of the most ignorable symptoms of liver problem. Now, many people have these symptoms and feel that, oh, it is caused by other things, not knowing that it is a sign of liver problem. It's a sign that your liver is dying. So if you are experiencing bloating consistently, if you're having flatulence, that's a sign of liver problem. About 10 is weak bones. And you might be thinking, how is this even related? Well, most of the vitamin D you are getting from your food or from sunlight is in the inactive form. So for it to be active, it has to undergo hydrosylation reaction by the liver and finally by your kidney to be active, all right? But in the case where you have liver problem, that is going to result in vitamin D deficiency. Now we all know that vitamin D helps the body to absorb and retain calcium and phosphorus from the diet, okay? But in the case where you have liver problem, yeah, you don't have enough vitamin D, that, that is going to result in bone problem. You're going to have weak bone, you're going to have bone fracture, your bone density is going to reduce, all right? Now, number 11 is insomnia. That's because the liver is also the site for the breakdown of cortisol. When you, have, when you have too much of cortisol in your body due to liver problem, cortisol is going to put your brain at a constant state of physiological excitation. It's going to cause some sort of sleep disturbances and in fact about 60 to 80 percent of people with liver problem have some sort of sleep disturbances all right now number 12 
is easily bruising. If you notice that your body bruises easily, that's also a sign that your liver is dying. That's a sign of liver problem. But the good news is that I have a video where I talked about how you can reverse liver problem, how you can manage your liver. So make sure to check it out here.